actually sat on a mattress in the floor. We would bring it out there whenever we were out there like hanging out. I don't have to do that anymore because my legs don't bother me like they used to, which I'm very grateful for. And I remember Ricky saying something like, um, oh my God, it's so cold out here. And I was like, no, it's not. I was like, it's kind of hot to be honest. So I remember that point pivotally because it has a lot to kind of do with like the next part. So it was probably an hour later and I started getting really cold and our hardwood floors get cold and my legs were on the hardwood floors because I was sitting on the end of the mattress. So that's why I blamed it on. And I was like, Becky, can you get me a blanket? So she got me a blanket and it wasn't working. So long story short, I was not only shivering on the outside, but I was shiv shivering on the inside. I'm sure a lot of you kind of know what I'm talking about. And that's usually when you're like, oh my God, a fever is starting. So I came into the bedroom and I put three super thick blankets on top of me and I was still super cold. And I was continuously ch checking my temperature. First thing I thought was, okay, I have the flu. This is exactly what's going on. I did a lot of research online and it said very, very, very matter, matter of factly that if your temperature goes above 102.7, a good idea is to go to the ER. But I was like, no, because I feel like 102.7 is like pretty common when it comes to a fever. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. It's probably just a flu that I'll let pass. So as time went on, it kept creeping up. Eventually it got to 103.1. When you're as big as me, you need to be very, very careful with fevers or just like any sort of sickness at all because you never know what could end your life. And I know that sounds so dramatic, but when I did go to the ER, because I did end up going, as you guys know, when I did go to the ER, the guy said, I'm very glad that you came here because that's like a super high fever. So they took my pee. I did blood testing, swab my nose, you know, did all those things. And we were just like waiting, waiting, waiting. Turns out, which keep watching because the story goes on a little bit longer. He came back and he said there was a lot of bacteria in my blood. There was a lot of bacteria in my pee. But what scared me the most is he said there was a lot of white cells. Like my white cell count was super high. So that freaked me out. No one wants to hear that. So he said, you have a horrible, like, he like made it seem kind of scary. Uh, but he said, I have a horrible bladder infection. So he prescribed me antibiotics and I thought, okay, well... I guess that's it. Like, you know, so as you guys know, um, I went home, but then I woke up and went back to the ER. So what happened was, <laughs> let's do another little flashback here. It was probably up most to two months now. Um, Dana and Destiny were sleeping over and the mattress was in the living room because I was out there and I had to sit on it while we were hanging out. I know it's pathetic. And we were all about to go to bed and we were all like up and cleaning. And I walked past the mattress and I don't know how, but my baby toe toenail, like I said, I don't want to share any of this, but I feel like I kind of have to, like I, I'm tired of people worrying. So my baby toe toenail hooked on to the mattress and bent backwards, if you will. I started freaking out. I was like gushing blood. I was so scared. Becky almost passed out at one point because one, she doesn't do toes. How it looked was disgusting. Blood everywhere. My, my actual pinky toe was like crooked. It was honestly super scary. But thankfully, Destiny was like, I'll fix that for you. So... <sighs> It was like a whole, like a whole thing, okay? Um, she did the best she could. I was like crying and freaking out because A, like it hurt. So my whole toenail came off. Hi, nice to meet you. And I did everything I could to keep it clean. Band-Aid, da-da-da. Like I did everything. I did a lot of research. Like this is like a very common thing because it happened when I was younger, but on my other foot and it was a completely different toe, but the nail grew back so wonky. So... I was taking care of it. I was like, okay, everything's fine. The thing is, you, no matter how much you clean something, you could still get bacteria in it. It can cause infections. Like, no matter what, even though I did everything I could, 
something bad could still happen. So flash forward about a month after that, which was where I'm getting to next. So I went to the ER, had a horrible bladder infection. Okay, simple enough. I woke up the next day and my whole bottom of my leg was super red, like hot. And I knew exactly what it was. I knew exactly what it was right off the bat. Cellulitis. And I put everything, two and two together, because I've had cellulitis before. I've had it twice. I was in high school both times. I put two and two together and I was like, I have to go back because the shivering, the fever, it wasn't because of my bladder infection. That was a coincidence. It was because I had cellulitis and it was growing and I didn't realize that, realize that at the time until the next morning when I woke up. So that scared me because last time I had cellulitis, like I said, was in high school and I had to get hospitalized for that. I'm bigger now. I'm older now. I'm more unhealthy now. So I couldn't mess around with that. So I ended up going back to the ER and I showed them. And they said, yeah, you do have cellulitis. So it turns out that when my toenail got yanked off, somehow, I don't know how, because like I said, I took care of it and Becky eventually started helping me more. I got a bacteria in it. And the thing is, cellulitis does not only affect obese people. I know a lot of people think that, which means that you don't have the knowledge of people with cellulitis, like you don't know a lot about it. Yes, a lot of morbidly obese people do get cellulitis, but so do skinny people, like a lot of skinny people. And it is when bacteria goes into your skin. It is a skin infection that can go inside of your blood and become a blood infection. I wanted to get it before it reached my blood because that's when it can come become life-threatening. Long story short, the the ER told me to continue taking the antibiotics because it not only will help with my cellulitis, but it will also help with my bladder infection. So I was like, oh cool, I'm taking antibiotics for two things. We can kill two things at once. And it turns out the antibiotics did help, help with my cellulitis. But I could tell that my bladder infection was not going away. And so that's why I scheduled the doctor appointment and they made me do another pee test and I still have the bladder infection and it's really, really bad. And I'm not sure what's causing it because TMI, I take care of Yandi. Um, oh my God, like I said, I don't, I don't want to talk about this because people will use these things against me and it's very TMI. And I just know that a lot of girls suffer from it. A lot of people that I know, like I'm not saying like Becky or whatever, but I'm just saying like, girls suffer with that like I know guys get it too but it's like super common but mine isn't going away and it's like freaking me out so my doctor put me on a stronger antibiotic that I've never taken before so do I like being on antibiotics no does it freak me out yes but I'm hoping that this will be the final straw like this is the second time I've had one I don't know what's causing it like there's so many different reasons but yeah that's that's what it is. I, I was terrified about the cellulitis, the bladder infection, like it wasn't really that big of a deal to me, even though that's also scary because it can travel to your kidneys. Like it is a whole thing, but I was more so like mad at myself because I felt like I didn't take care of my toe well enough because that's where the bacteria like got into and that's how I got cellulitis. And that's usually just how it works because it can go like inside of the smallest, like if you had a paper cut, like you can get cellulitis from that, even if you're 100 pounds, it doesn't even matter. And I was just, I was ashamed because I know exactly what people would say. And I know it's going to be down in the comments. I know exactly what the comments are going to say, but I just feel like I should be open with you guys. And that's what I'm going through. And we can all just hope the antibiotics help with my bladder infection and that it doesn't travel to my kidneys because we don't need that right now like we really don't that's just it right there so just keep me in your thoughts 